walking up to this open lot. This hill back here was much different shape. It's hard to imagine this is where a home once stood. I feel pulled towards here. A house that fire victims Matteo Rebeschini and Melanie Glover would describe as a tissue box turning into ash in a matter of minutes. You could hear the fury of the, the wind and within like not even minutes we will see like live flames like outside the house and then we will see the deck of our next door neighbors on fire. Now sitting in their rental, Mateo describes being at home with their kids as the fire approached. Melanie was out for the day and talked to her family on her cell phone. And all I can hear is screaming. I mean, screaming from my children. Um, I mean, mm. high-pitched screaming and then him going, oh my God, oh my, oh no, oh my God. It's been about a year since that tragic day a year that's given them time to decide what's next. Wanting to live in that neighborhood again meant having to build a safer home. And that's how they found Lisa Mori. We are here at the Colorado Earth block making facility and right behind me is a quarry and that's where I get the raw material for the blocks. She is the founder of Colorado Earth, a company that creates compressed earth blocks essentially made of dirt. It's the ground right below our feet often that we can use to, to really protect us better. And Ryan Rungi is behind the machine that takes the dirt and turns it into building material. It makes 480 blocks an hour, one every six and a half or seven seconds or so. These machines are what builders are gonna use when this, this industry really takes off. This concept of using this material to build is far from new. It's been something that we've, we've been doing for thousands of years throughout the world. Um, it's even estimated that around 40% of the world's population still lives and builds with this material. They say they have the technology to make it widespread in the U.S., but it has yet to be adopted mainstream. The way we build houses today was meant to be a temporary solution after World War II, a quick need for housing. Someone figured out you could throw some cheap wood up and um, build houses real fast, and for some unfortunate reason, it's, it's stuck. He believes the list of benefits of building companies adopting this model is long. It's disaster proof. It can't burn. Tornadoes can't blow it away. When stabilized, it's waterproof, so it's, it's actually flood resistant. It's hard to imagine a natural disaster that would ruin this wall. It's much more environmentally sustainable with an impressive low carbon footprint. And price is what Melanie and Mateo desperately want more people to be aware of. We know that there is a better way to build. And we know that it doesn't have to be more expensive. It's just a different way of doing it. We want to lead by example by showing that it's possible. Experts say they usually see about a 30% savings on combined production and construction costs when using compressed earth blocks. It could potentially be very, very inexpensive. That's if the construction industry shifts to using these materials putting the infrastructure in place and building up supply chain. It's made locally. It could be made from local material in any town in this country. There could be an earth block machine in every major city, if not every town. Between climate change, inevitable natural disasters, and a rough economy, they are pushing to build a new reality of what we all call home. Jesse Cohen, Scripps News, Golden, Colorado.